Yeah, and Goobers mentioned this earlier. Uh, Patreon and Game Wisp. Do you guys use yeah. other those? options? And like briefly, like what are they? So I've had pretty good success with with mine. I'm going through a revamp of mine uh, where I'm actually switching to Patreon. Um, but uh, interesting. Yeah, I mean the Game Wisp's company is having a just a just a focus shift, and so it's you know it's just. That's fine. They, they haven't like axed my game whisper or anything like that, but I'm like, okay, well, you're doing something else. I'll migrate my way over. No big deal. Um, but uh, the big things, the big draws that I have are, um, I have, well, the biggest one that I have currently, because I'm about to relaunch and do a whole bunch of start stuff like you could cost an insane amount of money, but you can get a, like an original art piece from me and stuff like that. Like it's- yeah. That's that's going to be in the future, but and I have no metrics on it because I haven't done it yet. But the big one that I have done uh, that I think the community very much enjoys is I actually do shirts through uh, Game Wisp right now. And the way that I do that is my top three tiers, $25, $50, and $100 a month, um, you can get, there's three different shirts you can get one of those shirts. If you're at the top tier, you get the top tier shirt. You don't get the rest. You have to back your sub down to get all three. Um, and uh, basically the way that it works is that uh, after three months, I tally everybody up. I see who's who qualifies. And uh, I actually, my parents own a t-shirt printing business, very small, like out of their basement kind of a thing. Um, and uh, they, they make the shirts I get the addresses and I, uh, I send them out and they don't have to pay anything except for their subscription and it just gets sent to them. And they earn these what are called officer shirts. They're the only way you can get them is through the game. That is the only way you will ever be able to get these shirts. Um, and people, again, people that want to support, they, they go and they do this and that's another cultural identifier of like, that's like, it's like, oh God, that guy's got the first generation of the hierarchy of holy shit shirt. Like there's like five of those that have been sent out ever. That's awesome. Yeah. You know? Um, and, and so like, that's a huge draw for my channel is, 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 is that one currently, but I'm hoping to split it between that, which will still be around. I've got my second uh, gen of shirts that are, the designs have been done. Um, and uh, I'm going to be doing that and splitting that between that and art and doing things like that with art as well. So, so before Twitch had an affiliate system, like Game with some Patreon were how you could make a case for Twitch to get partnered. And you still can. I mean, now you have like a direct sub button though. Uh, so I think that's why Game was has cha like changed their shift is because like basically Game was was a sub button for what are now affiliates. So now yeah. that affiliates exist, like it really hurt their market. Um, so I think like, you know, those tools are really useful when you want to provide extra for more money than like what you would get through Twitch, right? Like to provide extra things, like to do yep. whatever it is that like takes extra time outside of like providing content um, that, that you would like to monetize. Like you just mentioned, like maybe yeah. shirts or something. Yeah, I was going to say, if I could, I, so this is a big thing that like a lot of people, like I really want to share this with a lot, as many people as I can, is the fact that a third-party subscription service, Game was Patreon, whatever it is, third-party subscription service is an opportunity for, they're, they're, a Twitch sub and a Patreon sub are totally different things, are absolutely worlds apart. And a lot of people don't realize this. And the reason is, is because Twitch has auto fulfilling benefits yes those are there they are done the sub happens and we're good the patreon and stuff has custom tiered benefits and if you want to do something like that don't just do some i mean you can i don't want to say but my suggestion would be if you want to make the most out of it make something that is built specifically for your community when i started my game wisp my highest tier was the $100 tier, and it was a joke tier. It was bullshit. Uh, and the reason was because the person who was there got a credit or some amount of credits a month for me to say the word moist, because I hate that word. <laughs> I had seven people subscribe to that level. 
<laughs> in the first you know, month. You the, know, the, the and interesting it's, it's thing, cultural identifiers. And the interesting thing about these services is like it transcends whatever platform you're using, right? Like yes. you're not at that point, like you're creating something to support your brand as a whole rather than like, hi, hey, I'm a Twitch streamer sub to me on Twitch. It's like, mm-hmm. okay, you could sub to me on Patreon and support all these other things, uh, all these other things I'm doing or that I want to do. And like me as a person and the different types of content I provide. Yeah, I think that's fantastic for a variety of reasons. If I am doing, you know, an interesting, uh, you know, subathon and, and, uh, and one of the goals is I'll put a boot on my head. I put a boot on my head and Twitch is like, no, you're banned, no boots on head. I'm like, okay, fine. I go over to another platform, Facebook Mix or whatever it happens to be. I don't get to carry my subs right. with me over there. That doesn't that doesn't happen if you're if you have platforms outside of your broadcasting platform that you use and hopefully and ideally use intelligently use in, to to really make a robust um, community revenue stream that is something that persists regardless of where you are. And it's something that you've already refined a bit. You know, it's like the the longer you're with it, um, you're going to be changing stuff up. You'll see what works, what doesn't. Then you move over anywhere else. It doesn't matter whether or not the platform you're on implodes or you just want to change a pace or you get a contract for something or whatever. That's something that you will have that already looks good, already works well, and that people who even want to stay on your old platform may continue to use because they want to be a part of it. They just don't really use the other platform so much. You know, these are, these are, that's a, that's a really good, really good point. Yeah. Um, and like, I guess like a- another thing, um, is I just lost my thought. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Give me another thing is I lost a thought. <laughs> doing the Patreon thing. I want to try that now. Probably not right now. Probably when I'm like less busy and stuff, but that was like, oh, yeah. Really- you gave me it's, some good ideas. You're going to steal my stall and yeah, I'm going to steal that. that idea. Steal my idea. Steal right? the shirt idea. It's great. People love it. It's a different kind of stuff, right? But like, uh, you know, that was the other thing I was going to say, and you, you just reminded me, to be ready. It can yeah. be a lot of work. Don't overextend yourself. I have sure. gotten caught in that thing so many times. It's very easy to overextend yourself, overpromise, and not and underdeliver. And uh, I mean, I'm guilty of it just as the next, but I do my best to make sure that that 